Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. Now in all of the films nowadays, like James Bond and Star Wars, we see everybody going diving without the need of big clunky cylinders. It's as simple as putting a small device in your mouth to breathe. But these outlandish gadgets might not be too far away in the future. Let's take a look at the future of scuba diving. Ah, turn off the lens flares. Cut. That's better. The orb helmet has been making waves over the past few years. Yep, pun intended. Created by engineering student Thomas Winchip in his final year of university, he designed this oxygen rebreather helmet that could possibly replace scuba cylinders. It's a bespoke helmet that's made to fit the user, as well as suit their personality by customising the outside. So now you can finally realise your dreams of becoming a Power Ranger. Dibs on the blue suit. Now we have a new material that was synthesised by researchers that actually has the ability to absorb oxygen from water. Scientists say that just a spoonful of this crystalline material can absorb oxygen out of a body of water and then release the breathing gas to where it's needed. So no more heavy scuba tanks. Now hopefully we've all seen the film The Abyss, which in that you see them use a technology called liquid breathing. Instead of breathing a compressed gas, the diver actually breathes an oxygen enriched fluid. However, this may not be just a case of science fiction. Research is still going on on seeing how to adapt this for scuba diving. Dive masks are also improving. Development is still underway for the Scuba S. This camera has an underwater flashlight, a HD camera, a heads-up display and even underwater communications built into it. The HUD in the dive mask is currently being used by the US Navy, which gives you a heads-up display similar to Iron Man. It has built-in high-resolution sonar, so you can actually see underwater even when the visibility is awful. Or the future of scuba diving could be that you don't actually have to go scuba diving. With the rise in virtual reality, you can actually go on a dive in your living room without getting wet. There are numerous scuba diving POV and 360 videos that you can even watch right now. There's also the device called the Amphibian, which straps you into a harness wearing a VR headset that gives you the effect of being neutrally buoyant in the water. Now this technology can only improve until we reach a scene similar to that in Star Trek, the holodeck. Okay guys, so there were a few of our picks of the, uh, the sort of proposed future tech, uh, but there's already some sort of new innovations in the scuba market today. We have biometrics uh, that sort of tailor your decompression algorithm into your dive computer. Uh, what ideas have you got? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, click on that subscribe button to see more like it. And over here, right at the top, we've got my latest episode of Scuba Tube. In the center, we have Weird Wednesday. And down at the bottom, we have my last top five video, which was the top five underwater hotels. Thanks for watching, guys, and safe diving.